Hi there, welcome back to Utopia Cubed Resurrection. So guys, this today is going to be a bit weird because uh, we're actually having a bit of problems with the mod pack. We updated to 1.0.1, .1, but uh, it seems there's been some issues with it. Uh, for instance, these death messages that keep coming up. Uh, hooray. But... Uh, yeah, T Fox has, uh, was talking to Teddy and saying that there's probably going to be another update, maybe even by the time that this episode goes out. So I'm recording this on Saturday morning. This is out Saturday evening. Um, but you can see there, just by uh, while out, we do have Chisel 2. There's a couple of other mods that I'm really interested to play with. Uh, mainly, Funky Locomotive Motion. Uh, I believe this one's by Tema. Um, and it's basically like red power frames, which is perfect because, you know, um, com the pack that this is meant to be based off, it was, um, had red power and red power had frames. So now we have frames and we have stuff. So I really want to replace the computers in my miner with those frames. And I'm hoping to do that today, but what I need is Enderium uh, and a load of Invar. A load of Invar. I do have some nickel here, so I might see if I can smelt up some of that into Invar. Um, so with that, I think I should get either three or four. I can can't remember. Let's just see. And the frames, of course, need Invar as well. They are just Invar. That is all they're made of. But you get eight for just over six. Um, that's not finishing. Are we out of steam? No. Ah, so we get three. Uh, so I'll have 12 more. Um, 13. Uh, I might just have enough to make eight. Uh, I'll see if I have any more nickel or around. I might have some around the place. Um, but first, we want to do something else. So I'm going to be back in a minute and I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Okay, so I smelted up all my nickel and iron and I have 14 invar. Which, six for frames, seven for frames, sorry. Um, and four for each movement means I'm still short because I need two. Um, we could probably get away with one at the moment and then we should be able to find some uh, in our, our nickel when we're mining anyway. But uh, let's just make some frames anyway. So there's some frame blocks. Awesome. Um, I'm going to need some Enderium though to make the, the pushers. Pusher, yeah. Uh, the recipe is, you can see it's just a machine frame, four Invar, a diamond, and then three Enderium nuggets. I'm gonna check out if uh, Kiki's delivery service has any Enderium yet. Um, and possibly track is online at the moment. And I've just been told that the vanilla recipe for hoppers doesn't work. Um, let's just quickly try that out. Uh, let's check it. I don't have any... Why don't I have any wood? Uh, I should have some chests, actually. There we go. I knew I had a chest somewhere. Oh, yeah, look at that. Something's not working there. Crazy. Uh, okay. As I said, there is some serious issues going on uh, with our update. I think something went wrong with the update or something like that when uh, it was being uploaded. But anyway, I've been trying carefully not to look behind me because there is something right behind me that I want to show you. So this update added in power converters. Uh, wherever the hell it is. Should be right here. There we go. 
So these things can take one form of power, say ORF, or factorization, or EU, or Greg Tech power, and convert it through a energy bridge into another type of power, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, the thing about it is, though, it also has steam. So you can convert from a power into steam, and uh, that's cool. Now, the thing is, is, as I said, the configs are slightly messed up. I'm not sure if this is how it's going to be. Um, so it might change in the next... It might change in the next update that you won't be able to do this, but at the moment you are. So, I have a little setup here, and this thing looks like it might actually explode. Let's turn that off. Uh, uh, so... I have here, I have a ORF consumer, so this thing takes in ORF, uh, the energy bridge then transfers it to another, and then I have a steam producer which is going into this steam engine here, as you can see, and this thing holds a good bit of power as well, and uh, <laughs> Akko says hi to everyone. Uh, so this loop here, you can see this is storing 68,000 RF, and this is storing a good load as well. So this thing here is a source of infinite power, basically. And this is just a hobbyist steam engine. I'm just using it because I happen to have it. But um, that means that using this setup, we can just create infinite power, just like that. Um, so I'm going to build myself some steam dynamos and then we're going to head back to the deep dark and let my turtles run for a bit so that we might be able to find a bit more invar and uh, probably some shiny ingots as well because or platinum because I need those for the enderium. So I'm going to take out this and turn this back on uh, which should start charging up this thing. Yeah, there we go. And uh, this should just use the rest of the power in the energy converter to convert it into steam. Um, and that should basically just charge up this cube as much as possible. But I'm going to make some dynamos while I'm at it. Uh, the fact that that is red is worrying me a lot. Um, also... Yeah, okay, so I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys this setup I have. So we have the same energy bridges here. I, I made some two steam dynamos, and I also gave them two uh, secondary transmission coil and flux modulation boosters, which ups the maximum power to 320 RF per tick. Um, and they're both touching the steam producer here. And, uh, yeah, once we switch this on on the back, this thing should start producing... Oh, no, sorry. Not the back. The top. There we go. So, this thing is now producing steam. This thing is filling up fully with charge. And these things are starting to pump out 320 aura per tick. And you can see this cell is charging up for free. So, if I go back into the deep dark with this thing uh, we should be able to power the mining drills with these and uh, that should be cool so I'm looking for some shiny some platinum I don't think I have any no so yeah, I, I need platinum basically to continue with what I really want to do which is get frames I want the frames, but this thing should charge up in a matter of like minutes. Look at this. And um, you can, this is only using, you can see it's input limited right now. Uh, input limited? Bah. Um, but yeah, we can chuck on a couple of more RF, uh, steam dynamos on this and it should be cool. So I'm going to go do some mining now with my turtles and uh, we'll be back in a while. Okay guys, um, so I was mining with the turtles and it was going really well I must say, but 
this this ender chest is just not wanting to uh it fills up so quickly now actually what's the other one the um translocators these might be better but i always thought these things were really really expensive oh they're not really actually oh maybe we might change this one to a translocator instead if we can filter out the cobblestone um yeah let me see if i can do that although did i see there were two oh no two ender pearls that's fine why is there diamond nuggets i don't know okay all right so i have this set up now with some translocators um i still don't exactly know how exactly to tell it not to send cobblestone in here but it's going to send half of it into the bin anyway so that's going to be good uh, i've upgraded them with cobblestone as well or not cobblestone glowstone so that they send a stack at a time so this thing will empty out as quick as it can into this chest which should help it but this system takes ages to run as well so it might not be the best system in the world but it will work for what i needed to do so back to the deep dark okay so i'm here back in the deep dark and um, I've got my little turtles here for now because I still don't have any shiny ingots. Seriously, I mean seriously. Oh, it's so annoying. So we'll put down the stuff that we need. Um, that should be set up already. It is. Cool. Uh, put the RF consumer on top there. The energy bridge here. Steam producer here. Uh, and then steam dynamos and away it goes. So this thing is now generating power Yeah loads of uh, Loads of stuff so this guy should be able to go so we're gonna tell him just to go mine what? Mine will tell it to go for although I think it's still probably going a bit slow. Oh, no, that's not how this works is it? Uh, I did decrease the speed, so this thing should only stay up for 20 seconds. Uh, let's try... Get down here. So we can actually have a look in these ender chests. Oh, yeah, everything's out of the ender chest, that's cool. Uh, and there they go. And they'll fill in the hole in the ground as well for me. Wow, that is really pulling them out very quickly. That's perfect. Uh, I'm just worried that it's going to fill it up now. And we won't be able to see anything else. But uh, hopefully we'll get some sort of either nickel. Um, proper nickel. Which we can pulverize and hopefully get a, um, a shiny ingot when we pulverize it. Which is the standard way of getting shiny unless you actually find a shiny ore. Oh, I have everything else, except I actually need some silver as well. Um, but yeah, I have pretty much everything else. Uh, we'll just let this guy run. Hopefully, we'll keep up. So far, it's keeping up. Cool. So, I'm here at the conglomerate headquarter. And uh, Landstrider said that he would be able to get me a... Um... Whoa, this is... Uh, some shiny ingots. So here we are in their space station. Um, there's Buster there. I think he's the receptionist. Let's head over this way. No. How do we get into this way? Maybe. Yeah. There we go. And he's wearing a spacesuit, so I assume it's not. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, he has a coin of suck. Cool. So, uh. And, uh. Back to the base. Platinum. Cool. I've done it, finally. I have finally gotten everything I need to make two pushers. Oh wow, that was some effort. Um, let's grab two levers because I don't really have the resources to get what I actually want to do, um, which will be a timer and such like. 
but yeah. Okay, so let's see how much Invar I have left. Eight. I could make, actually, I can make one more uh, set of frames. Yeah, cool. Perfect. Uh, cool. So there we go. We have 24 frames. Now I also want to grab some... Uh, a saw. Uh, there we go. Micro parts saw. Perfect. Um, and I also want to make something else really quickly. And then I will be back in a second. Okay. So I went to the deep dark and grabbed my mining equipment uh, from the turtles. So let's have a quick look at how this thing works. So we're going to put in a frame there. And that's going to be the basis of our machine. I'm going to just set it up here and send it on this direction just for now. Uh, and then I'm going to move it to the deep dark afterwards. Um, once I have it up and running. So uh, there we go. There's the main platform. Now if you hit some of this with a wrench. Like so. Stuff doesn't stick to these. So that's kind of the main way that this thing works. So let's put down these pushers. So if we put a pusher here and a pusher here, and we can right click them. And then put down two levers. Uh, buttons probably would have been better, but uh, yeah. Oh. So this one. Oh, they need power, of course. I forgot about that. Um, That should have some power now. It's uh, not showing up on Wallala. Wallala? Wallala. -la. But uh, yeah, it should have power. Um, oh, probably not then. There we go. That's probably has power now. Uh, yeah, it's going down. And this should have power now as well. There we go. That should be it. So, that moves this. And if we leave that actually on like this, whenever this one pushes. And there we go. Yay! Onwards! Move! To infinity! And so forth. Um, so we can turn that off there. So you can see that will keep moving like that, which is really cool. Um, we can actually change some of these blocks to be... Um, cut ones using the saw which makes it a lot more efficient and stuff like that but uh, yeah let me just build up a bit of a, a kind of a proof of concept and uh, I'll come back in just two seconds so I'm not gonna lie this is quite possibly the worst design I've done on one of these um, but uh, it's as best as I can do with these uh, energy cables because these energy cables do not fit in micro blocks. These are not. Whoa, did I just crash? I just crashed. Let's see if I crash the server. Did I crash the server? I think. I think we're okay. Ah, yes, we don't want to be doing that. Right, sorry about that. Uh, let's just not do that. So if we put in the miners here, uh, we probably want to bring this up to three miners, at least three miners. But put that there, that should go down, straight down there, and that should go down. And this stuff should go straight into here. And it is. I'm going to dump off this stuff as well. Perfect. Uh, so that's, you know, going along there. Nicely done. Um, it's just hooked up to this at the moment. And this does keep moving. So if we turn this on... Crap, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Oh, these these here. These probably should be full blocks instead of micro blocks. Let's just change those out. And change this out. Uh, yeah, hopefully at some time I can change these up to the extra utilities energy ones. Because those things go through as micro blocks and work a lot better. Uh, I found in testing. Uh, this is still not working. Why is this not working still? 
I don't know. Can I not move ender chests? Oh, might not be able to move ender chests. I think it can. Okay, let me just play around quickly. So, I'm an idiot. Um, it's because the pushers ran out of power. Oh, look, they're actually showing power now. Excellent. Mostly. Kind of every six or seven tick. Um, so, yeah. You want to move it? You just, you know, go, okay, let's move. Uh, you're going to want to turn that off. Might be better with a button. And, of course, if we put a timer on, it will work itself. But we are pretty much out of power here. So, we'll have to hook up the power as well. Um, but... Yeah, so this is basically how it's going to work. Uh, I'm going to build a couple of more miners because I do have some iron. And I um, want to fill that stuff in. But yeah, cool. So that is going away there. That is all it will need to do. Let's grab this thing. Uh, I seem to also notice every time I grab one of these cables after it's moved, it gives me an internal server error. So that's pretty crap. Um, this design is awful. First and foremost, I do have a much better design that I did in creative, but uh, it requires the extra utility ones. And each one having an ender chest is an awful idea as well. We'll get some pipes or something pumping it in. Um, which more extra utilities. Uh, I have some ender pearls here. Um, yeah, so that is kind of it. Um, this episode is going... At, I like the, the time is pretty much three o'clock now this video is going at a five so we will have to leave it there for now i'm afraid uh let's get up to the roof so we can do the sign off i could have just flown um so yeah guys let's just check what we have anything good um no i'm not really Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave it there. This episode took far too long to do. Hopefully, we'll have a 1.0.2 up in the next episode so that we can um, get rid of some of the bugs that are going on here. So I will leave it there. I hope you had enjoyed the episode, and I will see you later.